interview questions in Spanish that were passed on to Yashi Svaru. Originally in Spanish, May 2023. Can you talk about the psychomental and biological parasitization protocols and the quantum apparatus of archon elimination? First of all, we must understand the problem of archon parasitization. They do not attach themselves to people just because, but because they match with them in their frequency. That is, people should take care of their thoughts because they are their frequency. The problem is that once parasitized, many of their thoughts are being imposed on them as if they were theirs by the same organs so that these parasitized people can continue being hosts or guests in accordance with them. People will then have to change many of their habits in order to effectively alter their frequency. And that includes many vices that many times they do not accept to want to give up because of the pleasure they give them. Examples of those vices that promote the attachment of archons are smoking and drinking, as well as hard drugs that lower the frequency. And this does not include other hallucinogenic plants that, although dangerous, do not alter or lower the frequency, but I do not recommend them anyway. As for the machine, it is basically a dry medbot that imposes frequency on a person. The device manages to alter the vibratory frequency of the subject and raises it, with it no longer matching that of the organs and astral parasites. An example of such a pod would be Tail Harder's device. But other convenient and easier to implement devices are sensory isolation systems. The more elaborate, the better, where the subject is placed in a chamber with water at a comfortable temperature, in the dark but with good ventilation and with special music or silence. So, a device would be able to alter the subject's frequency? Yes, that is the nature of how the machine works. The host is no longer compatible with the entity and it leaves. The problem is that if the subject fails to sustain that new frequency with his thoughts and his habits, the archons may return, especially since they already know the person. Remember that we are all subject to interference and inspiration from non-material beings around us, and who we connect with depends only on our personal frequency, which is mostly our thoughts. But wouldn't it be like trying to cure cancer with a med pod? You couldn't because it is something from outside the body, right? As I mentioned, the change of frequencies must be maintained with the subject outside the pod. Or otherwise, the archons would just wait for the subject to get out of the pod to jump on him again. More so because they are embedded in their thoughts, confusing the subject into believing they are their own. This can be seen or noticed especially when it comes to basic sexual instincts as archons love to use that, and the perverted thoughts associated with unhealthy sexual practices to control subjects and interfere with their work, especially if they are doing something good for humanity or in their lives. So, these machines could actually remove parasites from the individuals? Is this technology already here on Earth? They are not difficult to make, 
although each race will have their version of the device and according to their level of technology and understanding of the problem. Yes, there is one on Earth. Dale Harder has one or will build one. In the interview, we have said that it mainly has to be the inner work, not of any machine really, because that can only help you temporarily, like the medpod. But then you have to deal with the mental route yourself. Yes, the only way to effectively and definitely remove the archons and astral beings that stick is by practicing inner awareness, self-improvement work and by raising the frequency with your own thoughts. Otherwise, what I said above happens, that the effects of the machine would only be temporary. This is very important. The machine helps, but it does not solve the problem definitively. But those machines that these people call Atlantean quantum chambers, I don't know why this name, but do they exist on Earth? I know the ones here. I don't know in detail what they mean by Atlantean. To me it sounds like an invention, but I can't know. Just that they do exist. And I cannot know what they mean by those names. But how can the machine raise your frequency? That is something mental inside you. It raises the frequency of the molecules in your body, and that helps. But if you don't hold that mentally, the effects are only temporary. However, it helps, yes. In this case, it would be like going to the spa, listening to good music, etc. That also has the same effect of raising your frequency. It's basically the same thing. In itself, I can argue that the spa is more effective, simply because it is not forcing any molecule to raise its frequency, but your wellness in the spa results in longer-lasting mental benefits. However, combining the machine with or in the spa is even better, of course. It all helps. And how does the machine know what your frequency will be so that it doesn't match that of the astral parasites? It is not one, it is all ranges of high frequencies in line with well-being, peace of mind and the happiness of the individual. They are not measurable frequencies in Hertz. And if they are, they are artificial and inaccurate. They don't matter, just high frequency. I don't have numbers. Another example of what raises the frequency is being in a highly ionized environment, with appliances at home, or, for example, near large bodies of water, such as beaches, rivers, and particularly waterfalls, because the ambient electricity there is very high. That is why water in such places can be used to clean and charge quartz crystals for example. Can we talk about the different races and the contact with them according to the evolution of each being? Perhaps they mean that the personal frequency of each person will be what determines which race and which star people they resonate with and therefore can talk to or are more likely to be able to talk to them. Yes, it is so, yes. Just as with the Archons, it all depends on the personal frequency of each person. It also means it depends on who each person is. Could we touch on the subject of the dome that protects our space-time and will fall for many according to their evolution? I guess they mean a dome that covers the planet Earth. They see it as a glass cover, like a bread cover, for the table. We here don't view it that way. There is no such thing as a solid dome as they say. And that concept 
has a lot to do with flat earth theories. But you can interpret a dome in a non-literal, psychological or mental way. The closest thing to a physical dome would be the Van Allen bands, which do form a toroid-shaped shell covering the entire Earth, and which is powered but not created from the Moon, using or changing the natural frequencies of the Earth's magnetosphere. Another dome is the psychological containment of people in a realm called the terrestrial matrix. Can we talk about the loss of time that comes from not understanding the different veils that must fall on every being and how to accelerate the fall of the veils? Oh, that can be interpreted in different ways. What loss of time? The events of lost time that occur in abductions? Time is nothing more than a personal perception that depends on the state of mind and thought consciousness of each person, nothing else. As for the loss of time due to abductions, it happens mostly because they extract the subjects, removing them from their original environment, causing a time lag due to their altered state of consciousness. The notion of time is lost as it happens when a person falls asleep. Or they can erase their memory, but that's another story. What are the veils that must fall? I interpret it as that each person has to wake up in their own way to realize the existence of further truths that surround them and influence them. Veils. Let's talk about the different states of evolution that are being experienced at this time and how to measure the personal one. Different states of evolution of what exactly? I assume that of evolution of consciousness in or of each soul. To classify the evolution of someone's consciousness seems to me to be very human and artificial. You can't categorize states of evolution or only very loosely and with definitions that are ambiguous and don't apply to everyone. Still, I could say that the first state is to believe everything they are officially told. Then the realization of officially accepted but basic false things, like that elections are rigged and that politics and religion is just to control people. Then, realizing that they are not alone in the universe. That in the end, they are the original source, having a human experience. I don't have, or we don't have, different steps of spiritual evolution as such. There are many on the internet, and each spiritual teacher will have their own, and in their or from their point of view, they are valid. Limitedly, of course. In my opinion, each person will have their own personal steps and they will be unique to each and every one of them. <laughs>